Understanding Asymptotic Analysis, a Gateway to Efficient Programming. Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel, where we dive into the world of English and its application in various disciplines. Today, we're exploring a fascinating concept from the realm of computer science and mathematics, asymptotic analysis. If you've ever wondered how programmers and mathematicians measure the efficiency of algorithms, you're in the right place. Let's demystify this concept together, making it accessible for English language learners and enthusiasts alike. Asymptotic analysis is a mathematical tool used to describe the behavior of functions as their inputs approach a certain limit, typically infinity. In the context of computer science, it's primarily used to analyze and compare the efficiency of algorithms in terms of time and space. The key here is not to find the exact performance of an algorithm but to understand its behavior as the size of the input data grows large. When we talk about the efficiency of an algorithm, we're often concerned with two main resources. Time, how long it takes to run, and space, how much memory it uses. Asymptotic analysis helps us abstract away from the specifics of hardware and software environments, focusing instead on the fundamental efficiency of the algorithm itself. Understanding the asymptotic behavior of algorithms is crucial for several reasons. 1. Predictability. It allows developers to predict how an algorithm will perform as the dataset grows, ensuring that the software can scale up efficiently. 2. Comparison. It provides a standardized way to compare the efficiency of different algorithms, helping in choosing the right one for a specific problem. 3. Optimization. By understanding the limitations of an algorithm's efficiency, developers can work on optimizing its performance. Big O Notation, O Notation. This is the most common way to express an algorithm's upper bound performance, essentially describing the worst case scenario. Big Omega Notation, Omega Notation. This represents the lower bound of an algorithm's performance, indicating the best case scenario. Big Theta Notation, Theta Notation. When an algorithm's upper and lower bounds are the same, we use Theta Notation to describe its exact asymptotic behavior. Each of these notations helps in abstracting and simplifying the complexity of algorithms, making it easier to understand and compare their efficiencies. Let's look at a simple example to illustrate asymptotic analysis. Consider two common sorting algorithms, bubble sort and quick sort. Bubble sort has a worst case time complexity of O, N squared where n is the number of items to be sorted. This means that in the worst case scenario, its execution time grows quadratically as the input size increases. Quick sort, on the other hand, has a worst case time complexity of O, n log n. This is significantly more efficient than bubble sort for large datasets. By comparing these complexities, it becomes clear why quick sort is generally preferred for sorting large datasets, showcasing the practical application of asymptotic analysis in choosing the right algorithm. We hope this video has shed some light on the concept of asymptotic analysis and its significance in the fields of computer science and mathematics. By understanding how algorithms perform as data scales, Developers and mathematicians can make informed decisions, ensuring the efficiency and reliability of their solutions. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this explanation helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more insights into English and its fascinating applications. Until next time, keep learning and exploring.